Hi there, we've had high pressure around for the last week or so, so although there's been a few spells of generally light rain at times, we've been settled for much of the last week. We've had some mist and fog patches at times, some quite widespread frost in places, but also plenty of blue skies around now. Is that set to continue? Let's take a look at the forecast, starting with the jet stream, which is currently in quite an amplified pattern and diving southwards across the UK over the next few days, pushing high pressure out to the south allowing a few fronts to move through on Wednesday but high pressure then building it again out to the west so keeping things on the more settled side and you can see by this stage the jet stream well to the north of the UK so steering any areas of low pressure well to the north keeping us drier under this area of high pressure that is set to build. So taking a closer look at the forecast, looking at Wednesday morning then, areas of high pressure generally close by. And for many places, this will probably be the mildest morning of the week. Temperature's still close to freezing in a few spots. We could see a touch of ground or grass frost in a few places, but for many places starting the day above freezing and yes, um, looking fairly mild compared to the mornings that will follow later in the week. But as we go through the day on Wednesday, we will see this frontal system gradually moving its way southeastwards. Any rain on that will generally be quite light and patchy in nature, and it will be followed by more of a north to northwesterly flow developing. We could just see a few showers developing across parts of northern Scotland, perhaps some northeastern areas. Now, looking at the temperatures for Wednesday, we might see some places starting off on the milder side. As I said, not too much of a frosty morning and uh, ahead of the fronts moving through, we could see temperatures uh, climbing to sort of nine, maybe even 10 degrees as a maximum temperature in some southern areas. But as we go through the day on Wednesday, following that cold front, we will see some cold air coming down from the north, so feeling cooler for many parts of uh, England and Scotland and Wales, uh, staying slightly closer in those sort of green and yellow colours there across Ireland, so slightly less cold, but you can see these blue colours elsewhere, so feeling cooler for many places as we go through Wednesday afternoon and into Thursday. Now looking at Thursday itself, we've got high pressure out to the west, so a fairly settled picture for Thursday, and I do think it could be quite a frosty start for many places as well, especially across southern areas, where we could just see a few mist or fog patches as well, but generally looking dry and quite settled through Thursday, just with perhaps the chance of an odd coastal wintry shower across parts of eastern Scotland, eastern England, where we might see just a touch fresher winds here as well, but elsewhere generally staying dry, plenty of sunny spells around as well. Now looking further ahead into Friday and indeed the weekend, looks like high pressure will dominate conditions for much of the time. So many places expected to be dry. Quite a widespread frosty morning again in the south on Friday, maybe a touch of frost on Saturday morning as well, but most places dry, settled. We could just see through Friday and Saturday some cloudier skies in the northwest at times, maybe the odd spot of rain possible as we see some frontal boundaries approaching these areas, but for most places it is looking to stay on the drier side of things. And in terms of temperatures, it also looks to return to something slightly sort of closer to average, maybe slightly milder as we go through Friday and Saturday. We can see these green and yellow colours returning across the map here. Um, so although we will still have the chance of some frosty mornings, it will feel cooler in some places, generally temperatures clo becoming closer to or above average for many areas over the weekend. Now, if you're looking to do some spraying, you've come to the right place. Over the next few days, you can see as those fronts go through on Wednesday, a bit of a reduction in those green colours, the ideal spraying conditions. But as high pressure builds, these are becoming quite widespread across the map here. So plenty of dry weather around, plenty of light winds, helping you get that work done in, on your farm if you need to. And you can see plenty of green colours there to end the period. Now, if you are trying to get some spraying done on your farm or you're concerned about overnight temperatures from frosty mornings, the best thing you can do is speak to our forecasters. You can call us every day. We're here every day from 6 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. on 09065 777675 with calls costing £1.55 a minute. So taking a look towards the end of the weekend, the early part of next week, you can see we've still got high pressure out to the south. So generally maintaining that settled 
feel to things. However, we have got further weak frontal boundaries approaching northwestern areas. So some places could see some cloud and spells of rain at times. And it's really depending on this area of high pressure and how dominant that is as to how far the rain will be able to make it southwards um, before it generally sort of becomes quite weak. So for the most part, I think we're expecting any cloud and rain generally to be confined to northwestern areas, while high pressure stays more built over southern areas, um, generally keeping these places drier with the risk of mist and fog at times and some frosty mornings possible too. Some other models do have the high slightly more dominant, so that would really push the rain just into the very far northwestern areas, but there is still some difference between the models, so definitely one to keep an eye on. And this is the general story really through the rest of the week ahead with high pressure to the south and fronts approaching northwestern areas at times. And you can see that in the pressure anomaly, we're generally expecting to still have quite a high pressure dominated week for many places shown by these very dark red colours across the map here indicating higher than average pressure for many places so resulting in drier than average conditions for most places too except from perhaps the far northwest looking at the temperatures as well um, you can see that with sort of fronts piling to the northwest a generally sort of relatively mild westerly flow temperatures are sort of slightly above average here shown by those light pink colors there whereas further south um, temperatures will be closer to average particularly as we go overnight under high pressure with some clearer skies where we do see some frosty mornings that will just bring the temperatures down a touch so closer to average in the south but uh, temperatures slightly above average further north and west Taking a look then as we go further ahead into the first week of February, still got those red colours quite broadly across the map, so indicating higher than average pressure continuing. They've slipped ever so slightly southwards, so perhaps the idea of the, the high gradually sort of retreating its way south, um, perhaps the potential for any sort of fronts pushing into northwestern areas, reaching slightly further south as we go into the first week of February, but still uh, lots to play for in terms of that. And with the temperatures as well you can see the the light pink colors have moved ever so slightly further south with that sort of relatively mild westerly flow there bringing in those milder temperatures still slightly closer to average in the southeast there and i think there's still the risk of some frosty mornings at times as well now going towards week four not really much change in the overall pattern except the fact that it's continuing to slip ever so slightly further southwards those blue colors creeping closer to northern areas so indicating the pattern will be slightly more mobile as we go into this second week of february so the potential for some fronts to come in from the west at times generally the best of any sort of drier weather the driest places will be in the southeast furthest away from those fronts spreading in from the west and in terms of temperatures as well light pink colors becoming widespread really across the uk so temperatures just slightly above average as we see that relatively mild, in, mild air coming in from the Atlantic. So then to summarise, as we go through tomorrow, Wednesday, we will see a few spells of patchy rain spreading their way southeastwards, but that will be followed by some cooler weather coming in from the north, perhaps a few showers across northern Scotland. Um, but generally with high pressure building out to the west, west, we will see a return of more settled conditions, just with the odd wintry shower uh, close to east coasts. Um, but more settled conditions, frosty mornings possible, a few mist or fog patches in places as well. And then as we go into the weekend and the following week, it looks like we could see some fronts approaching northwestern areas at times. So we might see a bit of cloud and rain in these places, but we will generally see high pressure remaining close to southern Britain. So the continuing risk of some frosty mornings and perhaps a few mist and fog patches overnight. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you've enjoyed it, we'd love to hear from you on social media. I hope you have a great week.